Hi, my name is Tim. I would like to show you how to create an additional menu in Google Sheets. An additional menu can also be added to Google Docs and Google Forms. In this video, I will show you how to launch the script editor from Google Sheets. This is a, re a review of the last video, Google Apps Script Introduction. Next, I will show you the code to create a new menu. I will point out the different parts of the code. This code will also place two items in the menu. Finally, I will demonstrate the new menu in Google Sheets. To open the script editor, click the tools menu, then click script editor. This is the same in Docs, Sheets, and Forms. Once the script editor is open, you can simply delete the code that is there. However, if the, the document contains code you want to keep, click File, then click New. If you want to create a new file in the script document, Click script file and give it a name. And press OK. Script files are to the left of the code. Each one that is open is a tab above the code. If you want to create a new script document, Click File, click New, and then click Project. To save time, I'll, I'll already entered the new menu code into the editor. The function on Open allows the script to run when the document is opened, when the spreadsheet document is opened. Get UI allows the script to add features like, like menus. Spreadsheet app Is a class that allows users to open Google Sheets files or, or documents and to create new documents. So spreadsheets app dot get UI allows the script to create a menu when the spreadsheet document is opened. The variable renames spreadsheet app dot get UI to simply UI. Create menu allows you to create a menu item with a name that is in parentheses. Add submenu allows you to create a submenu item with a name that's in parentheses and the ui.create menu part of it is what puts it underneath puts it in the in the menu and, and makes it a submenu rather than than a uh, top level menu add item adds items with the name that's in parentheses so you've got you've got well let's go up here the first item and it's also called menu item one because there's going to be um in the section down here there's going to be functions for menu item one menu item two which are secondary names for the first menu item and the second menu item and notice that the uh, second item is is under is 
in the submenu. Both these items you use alert. It's a command. That so what's going to happen is a in the in the spreadsheet when these items are clicked on a box is going to open with, with this message here. You click on the first menu item and you click on the second menu item. So after the code has been entered completely and, and edited, um, press the save button, this button here, and give the project a, a name. And press OK. Okay, so after after you've saved saved the uh, project, go back to the spreadsheet and close it. Well, first I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to go ahead and close it. So we're back in, in uh, Google Drive. And so we've got new menu test, the name of the uh, spreadsheet. I'm going to reopen it. As you can see, we have the new custom menu. Let's go ahead and click on that. We've got the first item. We've got the sub menu. So if we click on this, see, you can see that the, the message we entered in the script, you click the first menu item, open in, in a uh, new window, a new bo box, click again, go under the sub menu, second item, and the message we entered in the uh, code appeared again. This video has been about creating a new menu in Google Sheets. You can subscribe to, to my YouTube channel by clicking on the box to the left. You can also watch my other videos. Thank you for watching.